Welcome back to the final day of Intergeo 2015 in Stuttgart. Hi, I'm your host Denise Wenzel and this year's trade fair and conference was a huge success. Today we'll show you a recap of all exciting events that have happened here during the last three days. Denise, Intergeo has become an international meeting point for the geospatial world. For exhibitors and visitors means Intergeo newest developments and technologies in the market and exchange of knowledge. What Intergeo means to the market leaders told us their representatives in our Intergeo TV studio. Intergeo offers an opportunity to meet new people, uh, those within the industry as well as, as uh, people going through university. We had the opportunity to see a lot of friends here and uh, a lot of distributors so, and um, also to, to get in touch directly with the reality of the field. I've been just humbled by the, the participation and the activity and the energy here in Stuttgart around Intergeo. Um, the thing that's catching my attention the most is that uh, there's such a high level of innovation here. It's a really impressive show and uh, it's improved a lot. I think last time I was at Intergeo was in 2008 okay. and it's grown a lot and uh, keep up the good work. Professor Dr. Carl Friedrich Töne, president of the DVW, was impressed of the Intergeo 2015 and the agenda that was set up in Stuttgart. I think we have identified uh, the right topics on the agenda here. Um, our, let's say, red line through Intergeo, through the Congress, was Geospatial 4.0, and that is uh, in the meaning of applications. Applications um, um, uh, underlined by geoinformations, whether in building information uh, modeling, whether in smart cities or environmental topics. So um, the exhibitors and uh, the discussions I've heard about uh, were absolutely positive. So uh, on my uh, opinion, the general uh, opinion of Intergeo 2015 Stuttgart was absolutely positive. Organizing the Intergeo is since many years in the responsibility of the Hinte company. Christoph Hinte, general manager, and his summary. I'm happy to report that Intergeo 2015 went extremely well. We've taken many little steps forward and also some bigger ones as the Intergeo success story enters its third decade. Visitor numbers were very good at 16,500 and better still, exhibitors were at an all-time high at 550. Far more important than these purely quantitative figures, though, is the satisfaction expressed by exhibitors and visitors alike and above all the positive dynamic vibe that everyone felt at this year's Intergeo. That gives us a big boost and a great deal of impetus for Hamburg next year. I think a lot of people at the event are already looking ahead to Hamburg. We have received numerous new enquiries, especially on an international level, and that means when we arrive in Hamburg next year, a city that is bidding to host the Olympic Games, we'll be greeted by a truly Olympian spirit. Smart cities, and in particular BIM, are exciting and groundbreaking new topics that will be making part and parcel of Intergeo. Naturally, this will also redefine markets and create new ones. And that's what this event is all about. Intergeo is always an important input of knowledge for the international media. My colleague Christoph Heck was part of a special Intergeo tour. In a few minutes, the press tour starts with journalists from around the world. So join us and take a little walk with us through the Intergeo 2015. As in previous years, the exhibition halls provide an impressive array of the latest inventions and developments in surveying. Ministry official Wolfgang Reimer had the innovations explained to him in detail and reiterated the event's importance for Baden-Württemberg. Land consolidation is a tool that enables us to link and combine different interests. Agriculture, nature conservation, tourism and resolve conflicts. In addition to delivering economic benefits, this truly cutting-edge planning tool also settles conflicts of interest. Naturally, it's based on surveying data and it's great to see all the technologies that have developed here. With such huge volume of data, the main concern for users is whether it's possible to ensure data protection. 
I've just seen it in practice. When people move to a new town, they immediately have access to all the relevant data. From kindergartens to any other details they need about their new home. On the other hand, it's obviously important to protect users so that geodata that can be traced back to individuals isn't misused. At least, as far as the State Land Surveying Office is concerned, however, I believe that data protection is ensured. We simply need to adapt protection measures as new developments occur. Reimer enthused that a big plus at Intergeo was its internationality, creating a real buzz around the exhibition center. We already heard from Christoph Hinte, whose company is organizing the Intergeo, how great the atmosphere was in Stuttgart. My colleague Anja Rössler interviewed visitors, students, potential clients and exhibitors. It was really fascinating. Uh, there were so many companies, most of which I have not heard about. We only hear about the big companies, but it's also good to see the small companies that also do the same things. So it was quite interesting to know about all these companies. I'm currently a student, so I'll be looking for a job soon. And I just thought this is the right platform to actually meet different companies and also make um, some networking. After I finish my studies, I want to, to go on uh, photogrammetry. And uh, I see that uh, there are many chances, there are many firms who offer uh, jobs. Visiting the, uh, you know, the different stalls, uh, especially some of the um, big companies are over here, like Trimble, Leica and all, and talking to their representatives and um, listening to their, some of their lectures over there was really interesting for us. So we are looking uh, especially uh, for GNSS solutions and uh, so we are just here to look a little bit uh, what to find. Our major is uh, geodesy. We just want to look for some company. Maybe we can have some chance for job. GPS has uh, increased the accuracy. And especially we looking for uh, um, uh, GPS for surveying. I saw that there are so many big companies here and they will bring new products for the near future so we could understand how the trend will be. For us, it's the uh, first time we try to go abroad for uh, an expert's ambition and uh, we had uh, very good contacts. Here we got a lot of customers, new customers, uh, about, yeah, they are just looking for some new things and, well, I think it was a very good one. The most interesting thing I still see is the organizing of the fair. Uh, it's uh, more efficient and also yeah, give us more visitors. Yeah. We really like the, the show. We find uh, good uh, prospects and uh, they th we think that they are really qualified. They know what they are looking for. And the UAV part is uh, really good. Denise, the Intergeo TV team had a great time here in Stuttgart. We met a lot of interesting people. And that is what the Intergeo is all about. Meeting people from all over the world coming to the Intergeo. This was this year's Intergeo 2015 in Stuttgart. Stay informed and get in contact with the Intergeo community on Facebook, Twitter and the Intergeo TV YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget to save the date for the next year in Hamburg from the 11th to the 13th of October 2016. See you next time. Bye.